Welcome to our video series on Sid Meier's Civilization World, the famously addictive civilization strategy game for Facebook. I'm Pete Murray from Firaxis Games, and in this segment I'm going to show you some of the things you'll do in Civ World to grow your city and help your civilization become the world's most powerful nation. Each player in the game is a great ruler, and you'll have a city that you can grow and develop. This city acts as the engine for your growth as you build houses, farm the land, research science, expand your culture, and find ways to increase your supply of gold. In the middle of the city is my palace. You can see here that my workers are bringing me what they've just made. There are harvests of production that you can pick up every few minutes, and then you collect the fruits of your citizens' labor. That was a pretty good boost to my stockpiles of food, gold, and production, so now I can do some more things. You can also change your citizens' job here, and I'll have these farmers start working on culture instead. Now they'll be increasing my culture stockpile instead of working to increase the size of my city. Let's take a look at technology. Like every game of Civilization, you'll research increasingly complex technologies that unlock new units and wonders. If you just let your scientists work on the projects, they'll eventually complete the research. But you can speed up the process by solving these maze puzzles. Your science points also get you moves that you can make in the maze. So I'll go ahead and make a little more progress on my science project now. Gold is a critical part of Civ World, and if it can't buy you love, it will surely buy you a lot of handy things for victory. Here you can see we can buy units for our military, and there are luxury goods up here that trade in a kind of a stock market. Buy them low and sell them high. You can also bid on artifacts with awesome bonuses and even great people who can use in the culture game. Merchants make money in your city, and you can complete this mini game for gold bonuses too. Culture unlocks great people, and you use these great people to complete wonders of the world. These wonders give bonuses to everyone in your civilization, but you have to coordinate with your friends to complete them before another nation does. If you want to help the artists of your city, you can work on these swapping puzzles for culture bonuses. During the game, your nation may be invaded by barbarians or other nations, and when that happens, you'll need to put your military units into the combat game. A good military has a variety of unit types, and it helps to coordinate which units you're building with the other people in your nation, so you're well defended or even ready to launch an attack on your own. Now, even when this game ends, I'll be able to keep my throne room here. This is where you display the trophies you unlock for your achievements in the game, and where other players can come to see how brilliant and successful you are. That's just a short look at Civ World. Even though the elements of the game are simple, a lot of the excitement arises from the fact that this game is always going on, and your opponents are people who are as cunning and as focused as you'd expect from Civilization players. We're looking forward to opening the game to the Facebook community soon. I hope you enjoyed the video, and stay tuned as we bring you more information about Sid Meier's Civilization World.